Welcome to the Proving Grounds. This time we have some holes from Gropers. We've got some slopey jugs, some funky little crimps, some foot chips, a few mini jugs, some fat slopers, and, and these crazy pinches. So we set four problems, one fun dino. So enjoy. Here we have the Keystone 41A. These are some pretty cool pinches. They offer some cool geometry. We've been referring to them as the bat wings. Uh, Gropers calls them the ice cream teeth. The ice cream teeth, yeah. It looks like some soft serve bites, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone offers about a pad and a half of gripping surface. Again, the same texture. They all have a set screw with a washer. We really like these on the 20 degree. You really had to squeeze hard on them to do some moves here and there. On the 50, they'd work well on volumes, unless you're a V10 climber, you can probably pull down hard on these. And then technical footwork. They work well for some technical footwork. Um, but I guess it's at this point we need to talk about the plastic. Yeah, so uh, plastic is pretty soft. Uh, pretty, it feels kind of spongy. We did some durability testing on it. Um, we, we, with all the holds we do, we, you know, we throw them off some ladders, we whip them around, we try to chip them, we do uh, a standard tightening test at a uh, concrete wall at our local gym. It had a lot of chipping on the edges here, um, kind of broke near the set screw hole, uh, nothing popped in half, but uh, plastic soft enough too that when we really crank down on it, you're, you just kind of separate the washer from the hole. Um, there's probably a millimeter and some change gap between the washer and the plastic here and you're getting the tiny little cracks around the bolt hole on the back uh, that, that happen with you know holds that are you know aging you know, yeah quite a bit. and so these and these are brand new so there's a trade-off everything on Gropers website is very affordable uh, but this plastic is not terribly durable but Cool holds. Yeah, overall we have fun with these holds. Yeah. Just a small trade-off you have to make. What, what fits in your budget. Yeah. All right, so we have the Jumbos 27A. It's a set of uh, sloping in cuts, uh, all full hand. Uh, so you get all your fingers on there, all are matchable. Uh, two of them come with a set screw hole. All the ones that do have a washer in them. Uh, some are hollow backed, the larger ones. Some are not. Uh, they all have this really cool worm uh, feature on here that makes a great thumb catch. You can get a pinch on it pretty wide or you know, really drive off of it as an undercling. Um, massive on the 20 degree wall, you know, super positive. Uh, surprised us a bit on the 50 though. These are pretty challenging. We had a hard time getting anything set uh, below V3. So um, they're, pretty, they're great on steep, super fun. Uh, definitely not roof jugs. Um, I think they should be renamed. Worm jugs? Worm jugs. Worm jugs. Great texture. Also, we had an issue with some of the sanding. Um, this one in particular uh, had quite a bit of wobble. Uh, it was maybe three millimeters, quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch, yeah. On the shallow side over here when it wobbled, it wasn't too, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but when you really put pressure on it, it pops up on this side over here. Yeah, so we uh, let gropers know about that. Uh, they were uh, super apologetic, offered some free holds and a replacement. Uh, so good people, uh, good to work with, but that's definitely, uh, they knew these holds were being reviewed, so uh, got to work out those quality control issues.
got a set of mini jugs. These are Keystone 41A. Uh, they're all about a uh, pad and a half, two pad in cuts. Uh, nice, large radius. Uh, look pretty cool. They have this yeah. cool surface texture. Cool. Would be an absolute workhorse mini jug if it weren't for this tiny little rib right here. Uh, it's really, it's really uh, kind of aggressive when you're climbing on them on the steep. Um, I think it could be mediated really easily if you just rounded that off or took that this uh, most uh, this closest surface texture back. So, if you're looking for something to do a bunch of mileage on, uh, maybe look elsewhere. Uh, but pretty solid set. Yeah. Other than that, you're fun hold. Yeah. Here we have the Pop Rocks. We have the 17A. Are these purple full pad crimps? They come a five to a set. And here's also the 17B, also very similar, just they modify the shape slightly. These are great holds, they come with great texture. Like I said, they're a full pad. We found out they worked really well on the 20 degree. They were challenging on the 50 degree. We did use them on some volumes though that made for a very fun problem, about V5 or so. Uh, without the volumes, with, you're looking at V4. Without the volumes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a stout problem. Only one comes with this really flat edge. This one was really great to use. We found that these were challenging for accuracy issues. You really had to focus on the hold and, and place your fingers correctly. You were not going to stick the move. Uh, yeah, they got this kind of these angle splits on there. And you have the, that, as you mentioned, that one that has the flat edge, but everything else has these breaks in it. Uh, you, you have to you know, pick where your fingers are going to go. So if you hit it right, cool. If not, you're coming off. Yeah. But a workhorse hold overall, these are really good holds. We had a lot of fun with them. Also had the footholds, the 12A set. Uh, these are kind of similar in the same band of these, just real angular, um, pretty pretty cool footholds. You can turn them, uh, and you have just different angles sloping off. So you can, um, you know, on, on anything but the most difficult face climbs, these you can find a spot for these holds. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. All the different challenges, you know. If you put this one on the 50, it offers a nice foot spike. You can stand down on pretty hard. But if you're looking for something a little bit more challenging as a foothold, you just need to rotate it a few degrees and you've got a lot of versatility there. Again, another great workhorse hold. Slopers are megalithic 7A, pretty standard fair hold, uh, nothing too special. They have a great texture, standard shape like I said. On the inside they do have one cool feature, it does say gropers on the inside, a little bit of setting candy there for those of you reaching the bottom of your holds bucket. Got a cool logo on it right here. On the, on the vertical, the 20, these things were pretty much jugs. On the 50 alone, just on the 50, they they're a pretty stout hold. You're going to have to oppose them for compression to really get any, any pulling on them. They work great on volumes. Um, the sweet spot is probably about 30 to 35 degrees, I'd say. One other thing, uh, the logo on the inside there is pretty sweet. Uh, they got this logo on the biggest one. That is, it is one honking logo. It's huge. Um, it'd be cool if you weren't able to use this spot, but on a vertical wall, like, that's where you're going to want to use it. Exactly. And the logo ruins it. So one thing so, to consider. Yeah, uh, you got your ledge. That's what you're working with. So.